Could it be a breakthrough in the treatment of breast cancer? CBS 2's Lisa Siegel joins us now with a check of the polls. Lisa. Yeah, we're talking about a drug that is only being used in clinical trials right now. Doctors themselves aren't using them, but it is very exciting. After breast cancer is treated in many cases, doctors tell me there's a 15 to 40 percent chance it will come back within the first five years. Now a drug used for bone loss could change those numbers. Okay. And Brenda, how old were you? I was 33. That was just a year ago. That was just Brenda a year Kelly ago. Grant can't I mean, believe at her age she's a breast cancer survivor. Still, she knows it could come back. Sort of a waiting game that you hope in two years there's nothing, in five years there's nothing. Tiffany Jones understands she's also cancer free, beating it twice. Four years ago, I was diagnosed, and a year to the date, uh, I had a recurrence. This study is so exciting. Surgical breast specialist Dr. Christy Funk, founder of Pink Lotus Breast Center, is talking about a promising study that says a drug used to treat bone loss may stop breast cancer from spreading and even coming back. Over 1,800 premenopausal women with breast cancers that are fueled by estrogen had their cancers removed. Then they took drugs to stop all estrogen production in their bodies. And the study began. And then half the women got this bone protecting drug called Zometa and the other half didn't. They got a placebo. They received the drug twice a year for three years. Another year went by and then they looked at the two groups. So there was a 36 percent reduction in breast cancer recurrence in the group that got Zometa. It is astounding. Brenda and Tiffany weren't part of the study published in the New England Journal of Medicine but fit the cancer profile being looked at. Still, Dr. Funk warns with this drug there can be rare side effects, although no one in the study suffered from them. One is called osteonecrosis of the jaw. Your jawbone basically turns to mush. The other one is kidney damage. Now, as for changing her methods of treatment, Dr. Funk says not yet, but possibly in the future. There are two other studies that have done pretty much the exact same thing as this one. They will be published in the next year, and they will have the same exciting results. Listening to this, amazing. It's a, it's a breakthrough. Two more large studies, as she said, are being done on Zometa and breast cancer. Those studies include not just premenopausal women, but postmenopausal women as well. The treatment is also being tested to see if it works on prostate and lung cancer. Well,